Honestly, I feel very disillusioned at what we have in place, medical system. Um, I remember when Zaid was very young and I think he had, um, he had severe cough. Um, so we took him to the doctors at one of the local clinics and instead of focusing on the cough, the doctor focused on Mongolia. So my husband had to really kind of pull me back as I wanted to say, he doesn't have Mongolia, he has Down syndrome. This is not what we came about. change their perception that their child can go to school and learn and fight for that right, nobody else will come to you and tell you, yeah, your child can have this education. In view of this, we need to search how we can go with this child to teach him, to develop him, and uh, to treat him if there is any treatment. Right now, there is no treatment. Even now, eight years, almost nine years on, we're still facing the same struggles. Different doctors, same system, school, government, ministries, community. February 2000, uh, I took my wife to the hospital to the hospital. Then uh, I saw the child after after born. It is not normal. Then uh, I go back again to home. Then I start to search the photo for the first one to see the difference because I feel it is not normal. Well, we got to know about Down syndrome when we had our son in, in uh, November of 2002. Um, I've always known about it, but then when we had our son here, I got to find out more about it because it was so personal to us. When the doctor came around, uh, they didn't say anything about her um, until the next day. And a doctor came and told me that uh, your child is Down syndrome. I talked to the doctor. Uh, this child is not normal. What's the problem with him? There is any side effect or what? The doctor said we need to do the investigation for the blood for the chromosome. The result showed chromosome number 21 become three. So it means Down syndrome. Even the doctor didn't take a time or uh, to soothe me or tell me anything about Down syndrome. It's supposed to be the doctor who comes there and tell you nicely and uh, find the right time uh, so that, but coming, uh, just giving you a surprise, Yanni, you have a Down syndrome child and somebody else will explain to you what is Down syndrome. I start to ask the doctor. Many doctors, they have different opinions. You know, some, someone they told, uh, child, they will not uh, continue for a long life. Maybe they will die.
I felt uh, it's like there is a big barrier between the education and uh, every child in the country. When uh, the school try to uh, keep them in high level in class one with uh, uh, other children in that school, uh, where the Minister of Foreign Education interfered at that time, they came and they say, no, you cannot put these children with other children in the same classes. You have to keep them separately, different class, and you allow them to let them to be together with the children, either in the break, or in the playtime, or in the drawings. We took them in school, as they say, special needs class in, uh, in the government school. But when we went, we saw that class, there's no, no furniture, nothing at all uh, material for education or to study those children. The ministry itself it doesn't have any plan. And I tried to put her in uh, the government school where they take uh, children with special needs. They have special classes, but that didn't work out. The facility is not up to the standard. The teacher cannot cope with her. Teacher themselves is just a new graduate teachers, a normal teacher. It's not like a specialist or, or the one who can deal or handle, he have a lot of experience to handle those kind of things. I don't see that uh, there is a proper caring about the children. And the other thing also, they mix every disabilities in that class. And one or two teachers, what they will do, they'll handle the 10 or 15 children in that class. It's every child is different. Capabilities. Government, they have a special need section. If that special need is just a label there, we have how many schools in Muscat area with special need classes, and those classes doesn't meet the standard, then you don't have special need. And this is what Minister of Education is doing. And they just writing in the newspapers and we have a class for special needs but in reality and the one who suffering or the one who have a child with a disability he can go and he knows what they're talking about if he can't take care about him about himself personally so it will, it will be more trouble when he reached to uh, 18 years and he don't know anything where he can go only two things. He will be in home, I will spend money, and we have also here in the uh, Ministry of the uh, Social Development, they will give uh, some, uh, uh, some money budget for them monthly to uh, support. But we don't want this uh, problem to be, uh, to be again to come. Why the, why the people will not think about the future? No need to give him salary without any things and to sit in home. We we'll try to search what we can do to those people, these are child. We we'll let them to be work in, if it is in Oman or in any countries, to be any active in the, uh, in the countries as they can. Wherever we knock the doors, we, we find those doors close, doors and doors and doors. But until now, uh, a lot of people in the government, they're like they're blind or they don't uh, or uh, they, they cannot see or they cannot hear what these children what they need or what they require and even information they got but they keep them uh, away not to look at it or not to care about it don't know what's uh, the reason 
why they haven't any uh, school in Oman. Uh, when I see a child uh, at home, no school, no learning, uh, I feel, I feel uh, not good. Yeah. I used to take Ruya to the Ministry of Health and have an appointment maybe after two or three weeks, one uh, half an hour or one hour appointment uh, to, to see a speech therapist. I mean, the time I'm waiting there, waiting for the appointment, I think I go inside and get maybe a half an hour of speech therapy and wait for another two or three weeks. It's not enough. group is for the children but we call ourselves the Omani Down Syndrome Parent Support Group and we welcome any children with Down Syndrome to come and join us every Saturday in Aveba. Um, we have speech therapists, we have a physiotherapist, we have a language therapist and we have another therapist who helps children identify symbols, colours, numbers. The group itself is like a counselling, I can see it. Because whoever joins the group and sees so many parents around there and everybody talk because we have a hall where the parents and the child sit waiting for their turns to go inside to the therapist. And there the parents get to chat, uh, conversate, everyone asking the other what you're doing, if it happens what I will do. And that itself is counseling. Every child come to this center, learn uh, in the uh, speech therapy for uh, 20 minutes. For other, for uh, physiotherapy, maybe 20 minutes. It's, it's uh, so little. Because we lack support in the education, in, in health, in many of the outside external factors, I feel that now my job has become I need to devote time with him to what he learns here because I think that's what is going to give him his basis, his foundation. It's not what the school's going to do for me because we've seen the school hasn't done anything. And we're not just talking about Zaid. There are other kids in other schools, we, you know, because of the parents of Bork Group, we talk to the other parents. They're either pulling their kids out of school or they're just having to cope with what they've got because they don't have anything else.